Okay, so one of the most important math skills you need to have is that of factoring. And when you learn how to factor, you first learn how to factor out something called the GCF, which stands for the greatest common factor. So here is the question we have 4G plus 20. What I'd like you to do is to factor out the greatest common factor. And if you know how to do this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer here in just one second, and then I'm going to walk through step-by-step step exactly what the GCF is and how to factor it out with a uh, basic expression like this. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades, and uh, it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go to take a look at the answer. 4G plus 20, we want to factor this expression. Of course, we want to factor out the GCF. What would the answer look like? Well, it would look exactly like this. 4 times G plus 5. And specifically, uh, the 4 is the greatest common factor. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, that is fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and give you a happy face at A+, plus, A100%, and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a professionally uh, certified when it comes to factoring, especially finding the GCF. They'll be very impressed indeed. Now, if you didn't get this right, no big deal. I want to explain to you what the GCF is and how to uh, factor it out. But uh, this is a pretty easy problem. You certainly want to challenge yourself with more complicated problems. But let's go ahead and get into it right now. Okay, so here is the problem 4G plus 20. And uh, let's go ahead and first understand what the GCF is. Well, it's an acronym. It stands for something, right? It stands for the greatest common factor. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at this expression, but let's just take a look at the numbers here. We'll skip the G for now. Here we have 4, and here we have 20. Let's look at these two numbers. Let's look at the factors of these numbers. So here's 4, and here's 20. Now, uh, factors of 4 would be like 2 times 2, okay? So when we're multiplying these numbers together, okay, we get back to 4. So these numbers, 2 times 2, 2 is a factor of 4, but we can multiply uh, other numbers to get back to 4, 4 and 1, right? 4 times 1. So 4 and 1 are factors of 4, okay? So numbers that you can multiply together to get back to this number, okay, your main number, um, are factors, okay? So you can think of like 10, right? So 2 times 5 is 10. 2 and 5 would be factors of 10. The product of 2 and 5 is 10, okay? So what we want to do in uh, mathematics is to factor numbers, factor um, uh, variable expressions and algebra and the like. So if I give you a number like 10, we want to be able to factor it. And of course, we have an algebraic expression. We want, we want to be able to uh, factor it. So that's really kind of what we're focused in on here. But let's get back to uh, what is the GCF. So here's 4, and here's a couple different uh, ways we can think of 4 in terms of factors, right? Now here's 20. Uh, now, we can look at factors of 20 this way, right? We can say, well, 2 times 10, uh, 2 and 10 are factors of 20, but so is 4 and 5. Now, let's just observe here uh, and talk about common factors. So we just defined what factors are. We're looking at uh, factors right now. Now, what does it mean to have common factors? Well, here, 2 okay, is a factor of 4, but 2 is also a factor of 20. So 2 is a common factor amongst 4 and 20. And so 4 and 20, yeah, 2 they, uh, uh, is a common factor, but is it the greatest common factor? Well, no. If you look here, 4 is the greatest common factor, right? So 4 is a factor of 4, and 4 is a factor of 20, and it's uh, 4 is greater than 2. So 4 is the greatest common factor. That is the GCF. All right, so that's uh, by definition what the greatest common factor is, and now we can use that knowledge to uh, factor an expression like this. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. But uh, before I show you that, I'm going to ask you, if you have not yet subscribed, really consider hitting that uh, subscribe button. 
that really helps me bigger than you uh, uh, than you think. And if you do so, hit that notification button. I am uh, pushing out math content like a couple, two, three times per day because I am just obsessed with teaching mathematics. And I teach uh, basic math all the way to advanced math like uh, calculus. So that's a, a lot of territory to cover. But, uh, you know, I do it for you. I really do try to make uh, learning math as easy as possible. So hit that subscribe button and notification button. Now back to the problem. Okay, so now that we know what the GCF is, what we want to do is look at these terms. We have four and we have 20. Now, four, G is four times G. So G uh, is uh, a factor of four. So four times G, um, G is a factor of four G, and four is a factor of four G. But what we want to do here is think of, look at the number parts of what's going on and uh, think to yourself, okay, what is the greatest common factor between four and 20? Now, we just reviewed how to do that. You can, there's actually kind of a different type of uh, procedure you can use to find the GCF. That's for a separate uh, video. Uh, I'll, talk, I'll give you some uh, recommendations and some uh, suggestions here in a second. But what I want you to do is to think of, uh, look at the factors of 4G. I can think of that as four times G, and 20 I can think of as four times five, but I'm specifically writing each of these um, terms here uh, with the greatest common factor in, in uh, mind, right? So I know 4 is the greatest common factor of, four, of uh, between 4G and 20, okay? So now that we know that we have 4 as a GCF, we can factor out this 4, okay? And when we do that, let me kind of erase this. We can kind of see this clearly. So once we have common factors, 4 and 4, we could just write... Uh, the GCF right here, okay, there's common factors, and put parentheses, and then let's take a look at what's left here. We have a G, so we'll put that there, plus we'll put that here, and a 5, we'll put that there, okay? So we have G is a common factor. We're going to factor that out, so G times, all right, when I write this this way, let me kind of scoot up so we can see this clearly. So this 4 outside this parenthesis, this is actually multiplication, all right? So uh, 4G plus uh, 4 times 5. We can write this as 4 times G plus 5. And this is the answer we were looking for. Now, this is basically the reverse of something called uh, the distributive property. Okay, So if I give you um, 4 times G plus 5, and I say simplify that or you know uh, multiply uh, 4 times G plus 5, you can use something called the distributive property, which is the re basically the reverse of of factoring. Okay, so we take this 4 and multiply it by G, we're going to get 4G, and take this 4 and multiply it by 5, we're going to get 20. Okay, so this is the product of 4 times G plus 5, and if I take 4 plus G plus 5 and factor it, I can factor out the GCF, 4 times G plus 5. Okay, so it's one thing to uh, watch me do a prom, and this is a very easy uh, factoring prom when it comes to, you know, really basic algebra and a concept of uh, GCF. But if you truly want to learn mathematics, you need to practice this stuff on your own, okay? So it's just like if you're um, a sports player, you know, would you get better at basketball by watching TV all day, watching professional sports? If you're watching other people, you know, uh, shoot basketball, it's like, wow, you know, the more I watch TV, the better I'm going to get. That's not the way it works, right? So, you know, uh, what I'm trying to do is inspire you to practice on your own. you got to do a lot of practice problems because math is a skill, and I would definitely love to help you out. So if you need help with factoring, okay, uh, basic math, uh, you know, uh, kind of arithmetic level GCF stuff. Check out my Math Foundations course. It's a little mini course. You'll find that in the description of this video. Uh, but if you need help with just factoring, algebraic factoring, uh, things of that, uh, check out my uh, pre-algebra, but especially my Algebra 1 course. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.